Hi everyone, my name is Steve and I'm the sales manager at Trombia Technology and today I'm going to introduce you the Trombia Sweeper. Trombia Sweeper is a 2.2 meters working width mounted with a side brush on the right side or on the left side. In order to improve the dust control, we have also added here a Nordic sweeping kit that you have it available in option. To improve the visibility while sweeping, we have installed the side shift camera. Also behind, you will find the automatic height sensor and all the options for the hydraulics, the couplers and the electrics. This is where we attach the machine to uh, the wheel loader. We can deliver the Trombia with the uh, most common couplers um, of the market. So make sure you're communicating the right one to the Trombia reseller. Concerning the electric, make sure that your machine has a socket that has minimum 10 amps and 24 volts coming out from this socket. You have to have a machine with a three hydraulics line. So the drain line, the pressure and the return line. The flow should be between 80 and 110 liters per minute and the pressure has to be between 180 and 220 bars. Now we are um, inside the, the Trombia. So let's have a quick tour on the components. Over here you have the shock absorbers uh, of the main broom to optimize the sweeping uh, results. Over here you have six water nozzles that are easily reachable and you can uh, clean them uh, every day after using, make sure they're clean and clear. This is what controls the, the dust inside the Trombia. To allow a better tracking of every electric components, we have added a letter and a number that you can see directly from the screen. The most important part of the Trombia is the blower and the cyclones. Then you have the water tank, 70 liters, that is more than enough for all the sweeping duties. So here we are inside the wheel loader before the first uh, drive. Make sure that uh, the screen is well attached to um, a clean window. And we are passing the cable through the main uh, boom over here but uh, on your client you can uh, have access uh, directly from the uh, electric uh, trap below the wheel loader so let's turn on the machine make sure first of all the electrics are uh, on inside your wheel loader and here are the main features uh, of the Trombia so the on off uh, button of the main broom the gutter broom uh, activation the left and side shift the opening and the closing of the hatch the settings of the gutter broom and the activation of the dust control inside the Trombia and here the dust button outside the Trombia so the Nordic sweeping kit just to have a quick view of the well set up of your wheel loader we have to go through uh, these main features so the rpm settings of your trombia should be around 360 and 380 here you can uh, raise or down the settings once it's on the good range open the settings page 3 and click on P1 and P2, which are the, the hydraulics. P1 and P2 now are um, zero because my hydraulics are not activated. So I'm activating them. P2 should be below 20 and P1 should be below 220 and upper 180 with the RPM uh, going stable once we are sweeping. All right, so now we are ready to go. Um, make sure that you're deactivating the automatic floating system of the boom. The Trombia makes it automatically uh, by itself. So we don't need to have this activated. 
Uh, now we switch on the main broom. We are on the right height, 20 centimeters, and the right um, tilt over here. Now the RPM are going up, P1 and P2 the same. I'm giving a little bit of gas to be on 360 like set. And now we can go. So, up. So right here we are in front of our own yard. You can see this is a very tricky place, very narrow, but we can handle we can handle it easily. So now I'm around uh, six kilometers per hour. I can go a little bit more. <coughs> yep. So here you can see on the screen the Trombia is making everything automatic. You don't need to overcorrect everything. Just drive. Trombia is really simple to drive. And now we can turn. Okay, now it's getting down and we can easily letting the Trombia automatically adjust. And here we can go down easily. To have a better results on the side, you can use the side broom. I activate the dust control because now it's quite dusty. Even the Nordic sweeping kit. And now I can go. I'm around five kilometers per hour. This is very easy for the machine. Yep. And now we can uh, we can dump. We stop the hydraulics. Never cut the hydraulics of the machine to switch off the main broom. Always switch off the main broom from the screen because the pressure will stop suddenly and it can cause problems to your trombia. And of course, we don't want that. So I'm just gonna find a place where I can dump freely. Let's say here. And to empty, it's very, very simple. You just need to open the hatch from the button. Yep. And then we can go back sweeping again and again. So now uh, I'm with uh, Oscari, our product champion. And uh, we are now um, cleaning the machine very simple um, we just emptied it and now we're just going through the cleaning process so show us where are the the places for washing it so we have the nozzles warm nozzles that we are inserting in the in the holes that are made especially for uh, make the the cleaning much easier and we are just pressuring washing inside so it's actually clean all the cyclone and the blower over here. The maintenance takes uh, daily 15 to 20 minutes. So here we just open and we can see that we have started to clean inside the cyclone. So very simple, we are taking the pressure washer and now we need to clean everything inside. The most important part I would say is to uh, clean inside again this cyclone and uh, upper the brush so Oscari will show us. 
So Oscar is uh, washing inside the, the trombia now. Make sure that all the, the sides of the machine are completely clean and inside, inside the cyclone. And also the other side, so he needs to wash properly the, the main, main room. Make sure you are going also inside here. So just after the washing that took approximately 15-20 minutes we are just uh, making sure that all the wearables are uh, in good operating conditions for the next time. So uh, the greasing point over here they are uh, okay, uh, the lateral shift also. Make sure that the high sensor is uh, free of dust and water over here. Inside so the rubber uh, check that it's in a good quality good conditions same for the sealant of the cyclone over here so when it's thick it should it should make a little mark over here also the side brushes it should be running free the rubbers on the front on the back the air knife rubber here which are uh, very important to maintain uh, the dust inside the trombia. The Nordic sweeping kit, um, if you have any doubts, uh, please run your wheel loader and run the water to see if uh, all the nozzles are uh, clean and clear. The side brush, the wheels, good conditions, the bearing, and, uh, and the side brush. Thank you for uh, watching this video. We hope that you uh, enjoyed um, watching it and that it has been uh, useful for you also to operate the Trombia. The next step would be to book a demo if you want to know all the details and operating weight. Now the Trombia is clean, everything is um, in order for the next time. Make sure that before you have the right uh, electric hydraulics and a quick coupler attachment uh, then everything should be as promised myself i'm just gonna clean a bit because i get dirty and uh, see you next time bye